Welcome back to another video. I've got a tripod in today. This was sent in via KNF Concept. The model on this is the S210. They're calling it a vlog tripod. So I'll just show you the included items and case. You've got quite a thick case with this, chunky zips on it, and most of the case inside is padded. The exception is just around the zipper area where that isn't. You do have some Velcro on the handle and that is also padded as well. And they also include an attachable shoulder strap so you can carry it around, metal clips on the front part. And it's worth noting that the silver or gray parts, they're actually light reflective strips. You do have an instruction guide that's included. It's just a generic one rather than specific to this model. There's the Allen key. You can use that to tighten up the legs. You can see from the details on screen, it is quite a tall tripod and monopod because you do have a double extending column and the measurements on this are pretty accurate. I did double check them. When you take it out of the case, it is reversed around with the legs down on the head. So I'll just set it up as you would do normally. You'll notice you do get auto lock mechanisms on each of the legs and they are spring loaded. So they're pretty easy to get to. And once they've pushed up, you'll find that they hold into place. They don't move easily unless you've released the pressure on the leg. One of them does have a detachable monopod. I'll show you how to do that later on. You won't miss that one because it's the only one with foam padding and it also has a sticker telling you the same thing. These top parts of the legs, they actually look like plastic or nylon. They're not metal with sort of a matte finish. Don't know if that's gonna be a problem. Uh, they seem to be pretty thick and strong, but we'll have to see how they hold up. This tripod features the flip or lever locks rather than the twist locks and that means it's quite quick to deploy and retract and lock off the legs. Personally I get on better with this type of locking mechanism. With this model you've got spiked feet and what happens is you just screw it down it reveals the spikes. They're not sharp but they do dig in to uneven ground. I've also used them on mud, things like that. It helps to actually just give a bit more grip onto the legs. If you don't want to use them you can just unscrew them so that covers the points. And I'll also note that they don't unscrew completely and come off. On the center column, you do have a hook which is spring loaded, and that means you can attach some extra weight, give a bit more stability. You can unscrew this, and you will need to if you want to reverse the head around. Um, I'll show you that again later on as well. You can see the thread in there with the rubber cover. We move on to the head part. I have done a specific video on the KF28, and I will put a card up there for you. The tabs on the plate prevent it from falling off or slipping off if you haven't fully tightened it up. And on the adjuster on the side there, which is a flat, sort of like a wing nut almost, that is spring loaded as well. The reason they've done that is so that you can push it around in different positions in case you have the head off at a slight angle. It does take a little bit longer to lock off than a normal ball head, but it seems to work okay. You also have another knob on the side and that will control the rotation and you can see the markings that are on the head there for the degrees. So if you want to use it for panoramic shots, it works quite well for that. It's a perfectly okay head for sort of light to medium lows. I haven't seen a problem, but they have changed a couple of small things. You can see the pattern on the top. They've just changed the font on that and made it stick up a little bit more, sort of thicker. Personally would just cover the entire plate with it. They've also added a hole there for the hex key so you can tighten that off personally find that it's just fine using the D-ring which you push down. I've never really needed to use anything else to lock that plate off. I tend to put it going across the bottom of the camera body. That way you can put it onto the plate, uh, put it with the knob at the front so that you can see the bubble level if that matters to you. If not, you can just put it on any particular way that you want. A lot of cameras nowadays do have a bubble level on them, so it's perhaps less of an issue, but that's the only spirit level that you get. I'll show you the double extending column they have now. You'll notice there is rubber rings around both of the columns, so that prevents it slamming down. It just gives a bit of a buffer, so you don't get a sort of hard crunch of metal on metal. There is a thread there at the front which you can attach accessories in. I've put this size up there just to give you an idea. And of course, it's a standard quarter inch thread so you can remove the head and put different ones on. Just give you a few shots outside. Weather's been pretty bad lately, but I did grab a bit of time 
when it wasn't raining just to give you an idea of the size and this is one of the bigger tripods I've looked at and you can see with the double extended column all the way up it does go up quite a significant height for normal usage if people are around about sort of five ten to six foot you're not really going to need to bring up that double column I'll show you now how to either reverse it around or turn it into a monopod just unscrew the hook from the bottom pull out the central column and if you want the monopod unscrew the leg with the marking and the foam there's nothing else you need to attach with that the bolt thread is already built into the leg there's no short center column with this so you'll have to reverse it around if you want to get a really low angle perhaps you're doing a macro shot then you can just adjust it around it's pretty easy to do it doesn't take long but I did look at a transverse column one about six months ago so I'll link to that video if you're really into the macro that might be the way to go quite a decent size monopod as well so if you really want that height you have that option with the second column extended stability on the legs was pretty good but there was a bit more flex than I've seen from some of the other models so what I recommend is not extending up the legs fully unless you actually need to quick comparison next to the Zomi which is a carbon tripod they're similar in size but the KNF does extend up further partly because the legs are slightly longer and also you have the double extending column if you're looking for a smaller tripod I did a review of the travel tripod and I'll link to that video uh, have a look at that I personally prefer that tripod to this one if you don't need that extra height the only other point to note is there's not a lot of variation with the KNF tripods at the minute I'd like to see some new and different designs from the company and don't forget to check out some of my other videos I've done quite a few on tripods now I like to give you a close-up look at different products give you an idea of what you can expect